Hi Aquarius, welcome to your What's Happening in February general reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Aquarius. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who really needs to hear this message. So in regards to this reading, I'm just going to ask Spirit, what is happening for you in February? What do you need to be aware of? What do you look forward to? What do you maybe need to keep an eye out for? And this can impact any aspect of your life, love and romance, career and finances, spiritual evolution. But whatever Spirit would like to talk about shall be said. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. I'm first going to do a mini meditation with you guys to clear and set the energy, but if you just want to jump right on into the card pull, go ahead and check the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those that are still with me, thank you so much for joining me in this mini meditation. It really does help me connect with your energy. So I just want you to open up your energy to ask any questions that you have, anything that's been on your mind. And if you have any beings of the light that you would like to welcome into this space, specific angels, ancestors, spirit guides, maybe even pass down loved ones, you are welcome to do that now. So let's go ahead and start by taking a deep breath in. And tuning into the energy of Aquarius. Wow, I mean, all I saw really was an eclipse moon, and I don't believe there's going to be an eclipse in February, correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, generally, that's just powerful transitional energy, and I just feel there's powerful change that's going to happen in your life, Aquarius. Some of this may be out of your hands, some of this is exactly what you wanted, but I feel with whatever happens with this transition, you're ready for it energetically. You have entered and stepped into your power of what it is to take control of your life, to reimagine what it is that you still want to accomplish. And I feel just powerful momentum backing you up with that. Some of you could have been even born on a night when the moon was in eclipse. So you already, for those of you that have been born on a night with an eclipse, already inherit powerful energy. But it feels, you know, a little bit shocking at first, but everything that is meant to happen for you to be launched into an upgrade. That's how I feel February is. And I'm not surprised to see that because February mainly is Aquarius season. So I want to know what's up. I want to see what is happening for you guys. What are the themes around this? But just powerful change is coming, Aquarius. That's how it really feels in the gut of my soul. So. Let's go ahead and see what are the major themes for Aquarius in February. Oh, goodness. Okay, that one wanted to come out. Let's see. So we have 0440, and it says the gut feeling. No wonder. I felt like it was weird saying the gut of my soul, but maybe there's purpose there. It says intuition, betrayal, pessimism, relating, value, insight, increased perception, Love and monogamy. Follow your gut. It's more than just a feeling. Be real with people and focus on meaningful relationships. Remember, you also must bring value to the table. Treat others with respect or else karma will bite your ass. Three is a crowd. Whew, okay. Aquarius, this really feels like to me a lot of truth is going to be exposed to you in February and specifically around friends, romances, people you thought had your back. Now, I don't want to make this so negative, right? I just feel as if, you know, 
you have had a gut feeling about a specific someone for a while that I feel, and I'm not surprised, I always see this with Aquariuses and people are like, well, Aquarius is so emotionally detached. They don't care. Like, no, generally all the Aquariuses I know are very giving people are very, yeah, I mean, they're not going to spill their heart out to you and make everything an emotional turmoil, but they really are the people that will hold space for you, that will not judge you, that will be open and give honest, true advice. And that's something we all need to have in our life. So people tend to kind of stick with Aquarius and use Aquarius as like a means to, you know, feel better about their situation or what's happening in their life or kind of like an emotional dumping ground. But some of you with this person that you may feel that way towards as like, you know, they only call you to ever say what's been going on in their life and how hard it is, but never ask you how you're doing. There's going to be some truth that is going to shed light on this energy, whether that is something like they were talking crap behind your back, whether that is they did something to betray you or you felt betrayed by but honestly, I feel that this is something you've known about this person deep down for a while. But February, it's like exposing them. And I got to say, Aquarius, it's going to be a test. To the level of this betrayal, I don't know. But it's definitely going to be something that makes you react. And just one thing I'll have to say is don't bring yourself down to match someone else's lower vibration. Because I feel... Like there's going to be something where you want to react with all that, uh, you know, anger towards this person. And I'm not saying it's not okay to express your anger. Of course, do so in a graceful way, in a powerful way. But don't give your power away to this person by, you know, lowering your energy and lowering who you are. I feel this is where spirit is saying, you know, with that eclipse energy, this is where you show how far you've come, where you're no longer just going to retaliate, you're just going to, you know, um, do something out of character to get even. You're better than that, Aquarius. That's how it feels here. And three is a crowd. I, Yeah, I mean, there could be third party situations going on. And usually that's romance, right? But it could even be like, Again, like two people I feel that are ganging up on you, Aquarius, in the workforce or in your friendships. So just be aware that maybe what you're seeing through other people, betrayals, behaviors that are unjust to you is really spirit's way of showing you who you need to cut out now, Aquarius. A lot of the truth is going to be exposed in February, okay? Tell me more. Tell me more about the energy surrounding Aquarius in February. Ooh, you got two. Yes, Aquarius, be true to you. This is the time to be true to yourself. This is the time to, with every lesson that you've learned up to this point, with every sort of bump in the road, how you use that to better yourself, how you use that to choose differently in a higher vibration that's more alignment with you. Yeah, again, there's going to be a temptation or a test to, you know, go against yourself to get back at someone or to get even with someone. But spirit is just, again, reiterating over and over again, it's beneath you, Aquarius, to do that. And then what's the other card here? You have relationship dynamics. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So specifically powerful change in relationships. And it doesn't all feel bad, right? Like I don't feel like you guys are entirely surrounded by horrible people. I feel there's about one or two that, yeah, are taking too much room in your life right now. But I feel even with, for others of you, like, as that is exposed, who in your group is the one that's stabbing you in the back? There are others that will be at your side, that will support you, that will help you through this, that sees what you're going through and wants to do what they can to help heal you. You do have that around you, Aquarius, and I want to remind you of that. And even if some of you are like, really, mermaid, I don't have a number to call, connect with your spirit guides and your angels. They are 
always around you and they want to send healing, loving energy to you to help restore the hurt that you may be experiencing in February. But yeah, I feel powerful change in relationships for the good and for the best, honestly, even if it comes in a shocking way. At least you know now is kind of what I'm hearing from this. So let's go ahead and get into the tarot. What is happening for Aquarius? Okay. Five of air. Yep. Aquarius energy. You guys could have multiple Aquarius placements or someone you're dealing with has strong Aquarius energy or maybe be another Aquarius. An unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. Yeah. Aquarius, it sucks to see this for you guys because I do feel those people that, you know, drain you are the people who are silently hoping that you'll fail. It's just misery loves company, you know? Like, if someone's doing so bad, unfortunately, they don't want to see the other person, you know, thriving. So I kind of feel, again, like, if there's gossip around you, they're doing it to bring you down, Aquarius. Don't let them. Don't let them. I'm going to get all the cards out first, and then we'll do a deep dive. Yeah. They really tried to disguise themselves as wolves in sheep's clothing, you know. They're always the victim, I'm kind of feeling. Nothing's ever their fault. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. Whew, wow. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> So much air energy. Okay, so communication is going to be big. Learning new information is going to be get big. Um, bottom of the deck, ace of air, the truth. And with the aces, I always feel like it's divine intervention in some way because in the Rider Waite Smith depiction, you know, the OG deck we all go to, it's like a hand coming out from the sky. And that is always like spirit's hand for me, God's hand for me, if you will. And it says, brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. Yeah. And I feel it's only challenging because it's like that sense of betrayal, right? Or that sense of, you know, I had this feeling about you. I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt and look what happened. But at least, you know, this had to be exposed to you, Aquarius, because in some way it was blocking your progression. Not that someone really has the power over that, but like when we filter our energy into helping someone that really doesn't want to be helped. You know who those people are, right? Where they repeat the same problems, where they, um, you know, just nothing you can say will change their mindset. I mean, I feel bad for those people. I have compassion for those people. But there's a point where we just have to say, I can't do anything. I can't do anything for you to help you. It's It has to start with you and then I can help along the way. But I can't be the person that is your cheerleader when you're making the wrong scores. You're going for, you know, and it's like the type where you just are getting frustrated with the same repetitive situations with this person. But they look to you, Aquarius, to be down there with them. You're not meant to be in the trenches with them, Aquarius. And I think to help separate that codependency they have with you in a lot of ways, some truth is shedding to light that you may feel is the final straw, okay? But ultimately, it's a blessing, Aquarius, I, I have to say, with the Ace of Air. The Ace of Air is never something that doesn't end with some sort of triumph, okay? So let's get into it. What's happening, Five of Swords? Aquarius energy, conflict, arguments. I do feel, I, I just... I see this card through the eyes of the Rider Waite Smith depiction, and you see that dude smirking with his like swords on his back, You're like, haha, I got you. It's like this person refuses to take accountability of what they did wrong. And that's what's making you the most annoyed. Because if it were to just be, look, yeah, I messed up, I'm sorry, 
I, I, I can understand if you need a break right now, but I did mess up. That would do more than just being like throwing excuses out. Um, oh God. Yeah. Just like unreasonable explanations as to why someone did something. And there is no convincing them. I think this energy is very defensive. They just never want to be wrong. And at some point, Aquarius, you have to see that someone's not able to be reasoned with, isn't able to hear you out. I definitely feel gossip around you, okay? Big time. And it's like this person's trying to like lead the troops in a smear campaign against Aquarius. Rumors, lies. Be careful with secrets. I gotta say, there may be like a secret of yours that you trusted with this person that they're sharing with other people. What's crossing this? Eight of air. Gemini energy. And it says, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. Okay. So like I said, Aquarius, it, this exposure is very shaking, okay? And maybe some of you are even going through this now. And maybe with what was said, if it was a secret, or if it was a rumor, or whatever, has like some people now like, you know, icing you out, not texting you back, not wanting to hang out with you, like, and that does hurt. I'm not gonna lie. No one likes to feel ostracized like that. But Aquarius... You were born in this lifetime as an Aquarius for a reason. You are meant to go to the beat of your own drum. You are meant to be someone that doesn't go with everyone else that isn't a follower. So the people who are reacting that way, Aquarius, making you feel guilty for things that were either in the past or nothing you need to feel guilty for, that is God's Spirit's way of showing you who's ready to kind of exit out of your life. And some of you may want to kind of withdraw from, you know, what is happening. You may want to like kind of take a break from social media. You may just kind of want to block it all out. And even though some of you are trying to avoid this person or this situation, like they are still trying to bait you, Aquarius. But what you'll be seeing for this is temperance, Sagittarius energy, and Libra energy for me as a reader. The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. I just have to say silence is golden, Aquarius, especially with someone who can't be reasoned with, especially with someone who's unable to hold accountability. Spirit is saying just no reaction is the best reaction at this time in February. And temperance is always a guardian angel card for me. So you do have a guardian angel Aquarius. And some always, when I say that, goes, well, then why did they allow this to happen? Because there's certain karma and certain things that you need to rid of. And it's life, you know? No one's life is picture perfect. And... Our angels do what we can, or th what they can, excuse me, to help. But, you know, there's only certain limits that they have in order for certain karmic cycles to complete out. But, you know, if there is any gossip, retaliation, anger being thrown your way, you, I'm just seeing you, like, in a white light that, like, an angel is helping, like, restore and faith to you, like, they're doing what they can to help you not be so bothered by that. Or once you kind of wait it out and let the dust settle, people are going to start feeling bad because, again, whether this was a lie or whether this was just unjust to you, how the people treated you, Spirit, God, the universe is going to do what they can to help ease the tension, ease the stress. So maybe, like, for some of you, like, you find out this person betrayed you, and the next day you have this big presentation at work and you're like, crap, I really don't feel like doing it. 
it may be like where it gets rescheduled or the boss like says, okay, we can't do it this day. We're going to have to do another day. And you're like, thank God, right? Because I was not in the mood. Like there could be certain situations like that, that spirit is doing to help you settle back in and ease through this. But yeah, again, like your grace is astounding Aquarius. And I think a lot of people get threatened by your grace. And what I mean by that is your integrity, is your power, is your need to kind of not just react out of anything that would be not you truly. So what's rooting this is strength, Leo energy. Great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness and compassion. Yeah, wow. So with the strength card here, Aquarius, it's going to take a lot to not, you know, just retaliate, react, go after them. I do feel you should say what you have to say, but leave it at that. And I do feel you are proving to yourself, Aquarius, like as you hold back as you stay firm, as you stay strong in who you are. You're going to be surprised at the way then people come around. So at first, maybe they were on the smear campaign, but then seeing how you dealt with it, they're like, oh, damn, maybe Aquarius didn't do that. Aquarius is not showing that they're, you know, so triggered by this. Maybe, you know, this isn't the truth or maybe there is more to this. You know, I recently watched Napoleon. <laughs> there's a there's a message behind this, I promise. And it's like the beginning scene where Marie Antoinette, um, you know, clearly is getting like shit thrown on her, is about to face her death, but she's holding her head high. She doesn't, you know, make a whole theatrics out of what is being done to her. She's not, you know, she's staying very, I thought, courageous and strong. Despite what I think she did to get there, I think the way she handled being so critically ridiculed um, was admirable. And I'm kind of sensing that same energy from you guys, Aquarius. The truth will come to light, and it always does. And I think having that courage and strength to still stick to who you are and what is best for you is going to be the aid in helping that truth be exposed quicker. Some of you could be born near the tiger in Chinese astrology or like the tiger has always had deep meaning to you on a personal level. In the recent past, we have the two of air, Libra energy. Being unstable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. Yeah. So again, like I feel you guys have had this gut feeling for a long time, but you wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt or you just didn't want to deal with it. Thinking of dealing with this person face full, like head on would be you know, unhelpful, disastrous, but spirit, God, the universe is not giving you a choice now, Aquarius. When this truth hits, when this is being shown, you cannot unsee what is about to be exposed. And that's where our spirit will push you to make a final decision. What you need to know is the nine of air, Gemini energy. And it says, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights. Yeah. I mean, to the world, you look so stable. You look so confident. You look so unshaken. But inside, I mean, who would not be? You know, especially if there's lies, rumors, gossip, secrets, and betrayal. Like, that would send anyone in a bit of a mental spiral. So, Aquarius, what you need to know is that To react in a way where it's going to further complicate problems, where you are disbelieving in yourself and the truth of yourself based on how other people are treating you. You are not going to be able to prosper in the way spirit wanted you to by exposing this truth to you. Some of you may be experiencing insomnia in February, having trouble falling asleep. Like, I'm definitely seeing, like, someone looking at their phone in the middle of the night, can't put their phone down, like, anxious. Like, 
turn off the phone for some of you guys, okay? Just even for an hour or two hours a day before you go to bed. Because I think, like, I don't know if it's just, like, doom scrolling or what you're seeing on social media is getting someone worked up here. It's not helping. But I think, Aquarius, I gotta say, even through this harder time that some of you may be going through, what you're worrying about and what you're thinking is gonna happen from this is, like, the worst case scenario. And only if you feed that energy and give that energy attention will that actually happen. But if you just kind of silence your fears and remind yourself of your strength, of your honor, of your integrity, then these outer forces are powerless against you. I know that's easier said than done, but you definitely have the time now, Aquarius, to shut down the mind that makes you so anxious about other people that are out of your control. But you can get your power back from them by not feeding into the drama and the chaos. All right, tell me more about what's happening in February for Aquarius. Woman holding coin. Okay. For some of you, this feels very strong mother energy. And um, so that's just confirmation for some of you, but others of you with this, like, this could be someone that has a lot of money and uses that as meaning having ties between the two of you, gift giving to you shows, you know, pays for your bills, but that's really just a way to keep you on this karmic chain, Aquarius. Others of you, I wonder if there is like an earth feminine energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that wants to help advise you, that wants to help support you in that sense. And will be there to support you and help you. And if it's not earth energy, it's just very grounded energy, very real energy. Because it's like the polar opposite of whoever is being exposed, right? That's just so ungrounded, unstable. This person will just be like, you know, just some people in life are shitty. And that's all we can kind of do is just roll with it. But I'm here for you. Let me know what I can do. You do have that support, Aquarius, definitely. And, you know, you could be this woman holding a coin. And again, it doesn't have to be gender, sex related. It could just be tapping into your feminine energy of providing yourself with stability. But just by holding on to your true value, to your worth, to your authenticity is going to assure that you make this out on top more than anyone else is acting out of their integrity. Tell me more for Aquarius spirit. Archangel Raphael. Oh, I love that for you. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. Yes, that's what I was saying in the beginning of the reading, right Aquarius? You are natural born healers. And unfortunately, you know, some people only use healers as a means to feel better about themselves. And once that runs dry, all chaos breaks loose. That's why, like, although you have that beautiful heart to want to help, you have to be a bit discerning. Yes, you will, could want to help humanity on a whole, right? But with specific people, they're just using you, using your light, using your healing abilities. And they're not doing anything in return. So Archangel Raphael is sending you love and light, Aquarius, as you kind of heal from this, but wants you to know the power of your healing and the effect it has on people and who is really willing of that and would use that to help heal the vibration of the earth and who's just using it for their own means. What advice do you have for Aquarius spirit? Perfectionism. Yeah, you're very hard on yourselves, Aquarius. And maybe this person, whoever they are, makes you feel like you have to be very hard on yourself and you don't. Polishing your creative project is fine, but don't allow perfectionistic fear to result in procrastination. So we could just take that as verbatim. Maybe you have like a strong, uh, powerful project coming up that you're trying to make so perfect and getting in your way of just letting the creative flow go. But for most of you, it's kind of just reiterating to me the need to help, the need to improve someone or a situation where you give your all into and try to make it work, try to make it happen. And 
there's just some things that are not meant to work out that way. And it has, you know, for some of you, maybe you've been carrying that. It, maybe I should have done this. Maybe I should have done more of that. There's nothing you can do, Aquarius. That's what you need to know. And maybe even like someone that makes you feel like you have to be perfect with them 100% of the time and the moment you topple in their eyes, you know, you're discarded. F that and F them, okay? No one should make you feel like that. And again, that's just a big exposure of what Spirit's trying to show you about the energy around you, Aquarius, and how it's affecting you. All right, Aquarius, let's go ahead and get one more card for you guys. Let's see if there's anything else Spirit wants to say to you about February and how to persevere. So we have ginger here. Will is the key word. Trigger statement, I am a victim. True statement, I am powerful beyond measure. You are strong and capable with gratitude, optimism, and action. Manifest the life you desire. So again, like you, by clearing the space out, although it's hurtful, shocking, betraying, it's giving you more room to actually welcome in the people, the situations, and the lifestyle that you want to live. So let it be, Aquarius. If they don't want to be on your team anymore, if they don't accept you for who you are, let it be. Because from what you clear out is making room for something better. I want you to know that, Aquarius, okay? Thank you so, so much for joining me for this reading for February. I really hope it resonated with you. I hope it gave you clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to whatever's happening in February or maybe happening in your life right now. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Aquarius, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Aquarius.